Welcome to Cooking with Soy. I'm Karen McWilliams, a clinical dietitian for Madonna Proactive. Today I'm going to show three simple recipes, including soy, uh, that will be great for snacks and great for fall. FDA has recommended 25 grams of soy protein to be included in our diet each day. And each of these soy foods provides 6 to 11 grams in one serving. So we're going to start with an Asian pizza, uh, a great food for tailgating, and in fall we want fun snacks and colorful. And this recipe calls for a pre-made crust. We'll make a peanut sauce, and we've got chicken and cheese and toppings to go. So I'll start the recipe with the peanut butter. And if you have someone in your family with allergies, you could switch that to a soy nut butter. Um, Soybeans are one of the highest protein sources, and uh, many people can use soy when they have allergies. This calls for uh, peanut butter and some soy sauce. rice vinegar, and water. And we'll just stir this together. It takes a little stirring to get it smooth. Today we're starting to see peanut sauces in many more recipes, and they add a nice uh, nut flavor. They're, they're used in Thai foods, Chinese foods, uh, just uh, all kinds of stir fries, vegetable, and meat combinations. Okay, and I will spread that onto our pizza crust. And the other ingredient in this sauce is ginger, and uh, that helps really give it a different, fresh, a fresh flavor. Okay, so you can see how quickly you can put that together. And now I'll chop the red peppers. The um, red peppers, of course, are high in uh, catechins and all kinds of good antioxidants, but they also add great color. So in this recipe, we'll try a different knife here. In this recipe, cause for pepper strips. You could chop those however you like, but they really just add great color and great flavor. All right. Now, uh, edamame is our soy food in this recipe. These are a vegetable bean that are harvested uh, at a green stage, and I boiled these beans and removed them from the pod. You can find them in the frozen section at the store, and they add a really nice, mild, uh, but slightly nutty flavor to our pizza. So, all we need to do at this point is add our cheese, and this calls for mozzarella, low-fat cheese, so it's a nice low-fat recipe. One cup of um, cooked or grilled chicken, it's nice if it's grilled, that will add a little more color, a little more flavor to this recipe, if you want to be generous with your chicken, you can add more of any of these ingredients, truly. And then we'll add the edamame. People take edamame and 
uh, boil it and just slip it out of the pod to eat as a snack. And I think you'll keep seeing it in more salads and foods such as this. And then I'll throw on the red peppers. And then last, for a little crunch and again a nice brown color, are some chow mein noodles. Just, just enough to uh, add a little texture and flavor. So this pizza takes 10 minutes in the oven, 450 degrees, and uh, is, a, is a wonderful quick snack or entree. While the pizza is baking in the oven, we need to make salsa. Every tailgate party, uh, salsa is one of the most popular foods. So this is a great simple recipe, which contains one can of black soybeans. And again, these are a vegetable soybean, very high in protein and very mild. Just really nice to blend in all kinds of recipes. I have one can of tomatoes with the hot chilies. One half cup of red onion for a little more color and flavor. To give it a good tang, we have three tablespoons of lime juice. And then salt to your preference. So this salsa is ready. Um, it's wonderful if it marinades in the refrigerator, but you can quickly add it to uh, tacos and all kinds of entrees, but also just set it out with the chips. What a great way to get your vegetables at a tailgate party. And last, we need something to drink at this party. And so we have a smoothie for you that is always popular. And smoothies can include all types of ingredients. Ours includes soy milk and uh, two kinds of fruit, make them extra flavorful. And I have mangoes and pineapple. I found a little vanilla is an excellent way to jazz up that smoothie, give it another flavor. And then ice. So I'm just going to add all of these into the blender. Now soy milk also comes in vanilla flavors and if it's new to you, you may want to start with that and later go to the regular flavor. Uh, we use a fortified soy milk high in calcium. And just keep it on hand for all kinds of ways that you would use regular milk. And then I add my ice. So now we have our four ingredients. Well, now we're ready to serve up our smoothie. You know, your friends may ask you to spike that with their favorite alcohol. You can add all kinds of fruit and other protein sources uh, to fit your uh, family and your friends' needs. We have our uh, salsa and, of course, our pizza. You will find these recipes in the resource section. I hope you enjoyed our video today. I hope you'll really try the recipes and find out the great taste of soy. Remember that soy foods are high in protein, high in folic acid, B vitamin, potassium, and very low in fat and cholesterol. And that's really important to our society and heart health today. So the Nebraska Soybean Board encourages you to eat well, eat soy.